Good morning, kids and children of God of all ages. This is week number four of our story lessons about super cool Christians. We have learned so far about Betty Green, who flew airplanes, Brother Andrew, who secretly delivered Bibles, and Amy Carmichael, who rescued slaves. And now today, we're going to hear about another super cool Christian named Billy Graham. Billy Graham. Are you guys ready to hear his story? Okay. Billy Graham grew up on a dairy farm. And you know what? We have some kids in our own church who are growing up on a dairy farm. The Gourlays. Maybe Billy Graham's family really liked grilled cheese, just like the Gourlays do. Who knows? But anyways, Billy Graham grew up on a farm and his parents taught him about God. They read the Bible together and prayed together. They went to church and they did their very best to live the way that God wanted them to. And one day, Billy went to a special church service where a man was talking about God. And the man talked about God in such an amazing way that Billy really, really paid attention. And he decided to invite Jesus into his heart. From then on, Billy was different. His family even noticed that he was saying nice things. He stopped doing things that were sinful. And he was even more kind to his siblings. He loved to think about all the things going on in the world. He would learn about those things and think about them. And he would always check to see what the Bible had to say about those things. And one day when he was a little older, he was invited to preach at a church. Preaching is telling people about Jesus. So he went and he also started preaching at many more churches. He could not forget about the man who had preached to him many years before and helped him invite Jesus into his heart. He knew from that man that talking to, God, talking to people about God is very important. Billy also knew that if people couldn't understand what you were saying, it would be really hard for them to learn about God. So Billy didn't use big, huge words like teradiddle or snickersnee or flibberty gibbet. And he didn't use long, fancy sentences like blah, 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 blah. He spoke to people in a way that they could understand. And he always told them the same thing, that God loves them and wants to save them from their sin. Eventually, he started preaching all over the place and thousands of people would come to hear his messages. Billy Graham always pointed them to Jesus. And God blessed Billy. Lots of people who heard his message invited Jesus into their hearts. Because Billy Graham was brave and obeyed God by spreading the message of God's love, lots of people all around the world were saved by Jesus. So what are some things that we can learn from Billy's story? Number one, when we invite Jesus into our hearts, we change. God changes us to be more like him, like how Billy started saying nice things and being more kind. And number two, when we tell people about Jesus, we don't need to use big words or blah, 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 blah sentences. We can just tell them what we know from the Bible and what we know about God. And number three, God wants people to know him and be close to him. And if we can be brave like Billy, we can share the message of God's love too. And parents, as I'm learning and researching about all these super cool Christians, I can't help but notice that a lot of them had parents who taught them about Jesus from a young age. So let's raise our kids to be disciples of Jesus too. Let's give them the precious gift of seeing us read our Bibles, of hearing us pray, of watching us serve God and doing our best to obey him in all the different areas of our lives. If we lean on his strength, we can raise some super cool Christians too. And Joseph's actually going to give an announcement a little later about an event that you can attend tonight. Just an easy way to disciple and connect with your kids. So everybody, today, with your families, I want you to think of one person in your life who needs to hear the special message of Jesus' love. 
And with that person in your mind, I want you to pick an actual time that you are going to deliver that special message. Make a plan for how and when and where you're going to deliver the message. Maybe you have a Bible verse that you think God might want you to share with them or a song or just something you want to say. And remember, not every single person that Billy Graham spoke to invited Jesus into their hearts. Not everyone did, but lots did. So we need to try and talk to as many people as we can, because some of them really will come to know Jesus through our message. And I'm going to pray right now that God would bless the message you deliver, that the person you speak to would understand you, and that they would have an open heart to want to invite Jesus in. Okay, would you pray with me right now? At home, we like to fold our hands and close our eyes just to help us not get distracted. So you can do that with me right now. Hi, God. Thank you for all of these super cool Christians that we've been able to learn about. Thank you that we can learn lots from them and to help us be even better followers of you. God, we know that we have the most important message to deliver, the message of your love that you want to save us from our sin. So please help us to be brave like Billy Graham to share that message. God, we pray that whatever person we deliver this message to, that they would understand it, that the message would go into their hearts and that they would be open and willing to invite you in. Thank you, God, for loving us no matter what, for loving us and the people we deliver our message to. In Jesus' name, amen.